Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to color all of your armor pieces inside of Motor very quickly. So let's get started. So to get started, go ahead and switch your rendering engine to Eevee or Cycles, whichever one. Cycles looks better, but Eevee is faster. But uh, let's get started with color. So the first thing you need to do is select one of the pieces that you want to apply all the colors to. So I'm going to select this thigh piece. And I'm going to add a new texture to it. So select this little button here. And hit press new. And so now it has its own texture. And if I go to rendered view. It doesn't show anything yet. Because it's still white. But if I change the color. The base color. To like red. Now it shows. And it's. That's how it looks in the rendered view port. But when I go to back to solid. This is how it looks. In the solid view port display. But you can change that. By going down here. So. On your texture panel, scroll down and change the color of viewport display to red too. So now it looks red in viewport display and in rendered. So now that you have one piece colored red, or whatever color you want, I'm going to start coloring the other pieces the same color. So select all the other pieces that you want to also be red. So here, I'm going to go with this piece, the shorter pieces, the armor, the upper piece, the chest, the thigh, just hold down shift and select all of them in object mode. I'm going to select all these pieces. And what I'm going to do is, now that I've had all of them selected, select the one that's red. That'll be the one that you're parenting. So now, let go of shift, press object, and then press make links, and then materials. And so that'll copy the texture data for this piece to all the other pieces that you want to have the same data. And that's how you quickly set the texture to from one to all the others without having to manually add each one individually. So from here, it's really simple. You can customize this, the texture, the metallic rating. That'll make it a bit more like a metal once you're going uh, in loop dev or rendered viewport. So that'll make it more metallic and roughness, you know, make it more glossy or rough. I like to go with kind of a, a mix to make it kind of shiny but metallic at the same time. And if you want to color the base mesh or in something individually, just add a new texture and just change the colors as do you see fit. So that's that. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. I'll try to get to them. If you please like and subscribe, it'll really help out my channel a bunch right now. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all guys next time.